A few years ago, somebody asked me what time of my life did I like best. And I said, no. I mean, that was a spontaneous, very quick reaction. I didn't think about it. And in a way, it's true. my heart out. I have a ball. I love it. Get your adrenaline running and get you ready for dancing. This is, this is the most wonderful thing I've done in 15 years. I forgot how much I enjoyed dancing till I decided to do this. I didn't live in a little box. I lived my life fully. And I'm glad I, that I did, because I see women 50 and 60 decide to give up on life and go sit down somewhere, don't look forward to the future. Even at 82 years old, I still got things that I want to do. You've been here before. Have you ever signed our guest book? Well, come, darling. Would you sign our guest book, please? When I met my husband, the first thing I wanted to do was take him to church because that was important. Good morning. I see you've got a program already. Good morning. Okay, we've got five minutes. I saw that he was the right man, and I wasn't about to let him get away. So, um... What do you say when you said that? No, that wasn't Some what other I said. Some woman would not know how to treat me. Oh, yeah. I told you that later. I told oh. him after we got married, I said, I saved you. Any other woman had gotten you, they wouldn't have known what to do with you anyway. The best time for a kiss shows up before the kiss happens. Something shivers in the air between his soft old lips and mine. Thousands of kisses burn and tingle there between our skins in the almost touching places we still share. As long as bliss can bloom and breath can bear, as long as there are living rivers in the air. Do you like it? You gonna cry? <laughs> You're gonna cry, he always cries a little. I had a serious illness in 1990 and was, uh, I was out, I was in a coma for several weeks. Surely had a stroke. She came unconscious and I'd be at the hospital and I would sit there and watch her. It was one of those things where they put a shunt in my head, I still have it right here. And Shirley woke up. She woke up, and I thought my heart was going to turn over. I can still remember waking up and realizing he couldn't have changed his shirt for three weeks, you know, <laughs> and, and he would lost weight, and he looked so sad, and I said, what's the matter? And he said, oh, girl, I thought I'd lost you. And I said, don't be silly, I'm right here, <laughs> because I hadn't suffered. I had just begun working with ceramics within the last five years. You come in here and you can work for uh, two or three, four hours, and you have no idea that the time is gone. I think it's good for the hands. It's good for your muscles. I think all of us would admit that we feel better after we've worked with it. I don't know why people are so afraid of being old. It seems to me that what people see only is the loss or the deterioration or the, the minus. And they don't see that they're tremendous gains. Happy birthday to you. The ease and the security, the feeling of essentially being able to cope.
I, I thought 80 was oh, nah, I'm not going to live to be 80. Here I'm 86 already. I can't believe it. And I'm still driving car. And you know, without a car, you know, I just will die. <laughs> I, I feel like shouting for joy <laughs> that I have reached this because I don't feel young, especially, but I, I feel medium. I don't feel old. Even at 100, I don't feel old, <laughs> which is stupid, I guess. Nobody, not you or anybody, can understand what we went through when we gave up our homes, our lifestyle, our everything, everything, and plunked ourselves down in this place where we didn't even want to be. But when someone says, are you happy? I think, what kind of dumb question is that? No, I'm not happy. I'm making do. Friends that uh, passed away, you know, in their 50s and 60s, you just wonder, why you survive, you just sometimes wonder. My husband certainly was the love of my life, but there were many others. Nothing that had the, the depth and the intensity and the, and uh, when he died, that was really, for many years, the end of the world. My mourning was endless, seemed endless until I one day really decided that was alive. I was just telling a group of women the other day, uh, they were all young women in their uh, late 30s, 40s, maybe one or two are reaching over 50 now. And we were talking about sex in connection with dreams. And I said, well, girls, you don't have to worry. You're going to get, you'll probably be due for a couple of orgasms when you're after 85. <laughs> and I thought that they'd be very pleased if they were pleased. Because I think they sometimes wonder, you know, what's going to happen. You never, never get too old to have sex. And my husband and I are very active. Not as active as we used to be, but we still enjoy sex. In fact, I don't dare go up to these stairs ahead of him because if I did, he'd be up the stairs all up under my dress. And sex does not necessarily always have to be penetration. It's being close to each other and, and he likes big boobs. And he's always fondling them. And just be thankful that you wake up in the morning and say, I have another day. I would hope that reincarnation was true because I would love to do some things I didn't have a chance to do. Yes, I'm very greedy, but I'm greedy for experience and for wonderful things to happen. <laughs>